dear students now we are going to learn about a banquet setup and the name of this banquet setup is herring bone or fish bone style it is called fish bone styles because it looks like the bone of the fish only as you can see in the diagrams here all the tables are arranged in an inclined way and there is one important thing like all the guests are facing towards to the main head table so we'll have to do this particular setup while in doing the practical also why we are going to call it as an herringbone sitting arrangements or fishbone setups as we have already discussed the whole arrangement of this particular setups looks like the skeleton of the fish there are positive aspects of this kind of an setup the first uh, positive aspect is here all the seats are angled inwards and all the guests who have been seated over here are facing towards to the main podium or the main table the second is all seats are facing towards to the main front of the function room so if any thing has been going on on the small stage also like the all the all the guests can easily be able to have a clear view of that it is very easier for the note taking process also if any guest wants to jot down or note down since the table is there in front of them so it becomes very easier for them also for the note taking process there is one more thing like any kind of an food and beverage can also be uh, served from the front part of the table so these are some of the positive aspects of this this kind of an setup there are some of the disadvantages of this setups as here we can see all the audiences are sitting very close to each other so it is very difficult for a person to enter while the function has been starting or exit while the function is going on next is la la is what la is the space between the chairs and tables for the movement here the la are required for the sufficient movement of the guest so here the la part is uh, here the space of the la is very short so next is sitting capacity is reduced by the inclined tables as we have been using an inclined table so most of the areas would be covered by these inclined tables only thereby reducing our sitting capacity there is one more thing like the audience cannot interact with each other as they are not facing towards to each other last but not the least is the basically where this particular setup is primarily used it can be used for any training purpose for any conference purpose or for giving any sort of an lecture to the guest